Welcome to Talking with Alex. Welcome to a new episode of Talking with Alex. Long time no see. How are you guys doing? Um, to update you guys, recently um, in Taiwan, we're doing pretty well with the coronavirus and everything is going pretty smoothly. Um, on another note, uh, we have had two Instagram takeovers, uh, one by um, an autism ally, musician, artist, and my dear friend Angelina Chen um, took over the account, which she did very wonderfully. And we also had Aiden Boyer, who took over the Autism Rocks Instagram account last week, because she posted a lot of stuff. And you can both, you can all check it out in the highlight section of at Autism Rocks events. Um, for our Instagram page, and um, I think you'll love it. And um, they said a lot of great things. They were educational, and they're great. So for today's topic, um, I want to touch on something very important. I feel like everyone should know, and that is the uh, the recent controversial um, autism TikTok challenge. Um, autism Rock strongly condemns. Uh, this kind of um, demeaning and awful challenge because not only not only is it, is it hurting people with autism but people don't even think about why it is wrong let me, and let me explain to you what why it is wrong it is wrong because you're mocking people on the spectrum with offensive movements and dance movements and you're perpetuating the stereotypes that autism advocacy groups have been trying to um, avoid, trying to get rid of those stereotypes, and you're just perpetuating it, adding to the fuel that people with autism are all like the severe kind of severe kind, but we but we have a spectrum, just like the LGBTQ spectrum, and we have different kinds of people. Um, on spectrum, and we're not only limited to being severe. We, there's also people like me who's mild, and um, doesn't affect me as much. And we should start looking at autism as a condition, and accept that they're different, but it's okay to be different. And that um, it, it it really hurts me to see this happening um, at a person on the spectrum because. I feel like um, this is awful, unacceptable, and um, and like like th there is more. There is more and more and more people bullying other people with autism, and I I kind of believe that until now the news have re have just reported about this big incident about the TikTok challenge. I mean like other stuff like in normal people's lives like there are still so many like injustices going on with the autism community that the news neglects to talk about. And we have to talk about it. They're being bullied every day, they're being mistreated and we need to stop the bullying. We need to stop it. Right then and there. It's not right. Is wrong in every single way and we need to prevent it from happening to anyone else because you know what we live they live in this world and you we all live in this world so we all have a responsibility to make them feel comfortable in this world and if I were treated better when I was younger then I probably would be more happier and I, and I feel like we need, we need to stop having these stereotypes, hurting other people, and and be more educated about these topics, about helping other minorities, about standing together and not being divided. I think it is personally a waste of time to try to do something that you're not sure of that might offend anyone. So I think you should you should think before you do it to the people who don't have autism or don't know anything about autism it's so crucial um 
I'm not recommending you, I'm just recommending that you take this action and stand on the right side of history. Um, and I, I, I mean like, it's just so shocked, I'm, I'm just so shocked that, um, that this, this challenge is even happening. I, I just, I'm so angered and so angry that this is not talked about and people in and we should accept people who are neurodiverse and and not like perpetuate these stupid stereotypes that they just can't do anything they can we contributed a lot in society we just don't see it and we need more help and support and recently get the statistics saying that 2.2 percent of the adult population have autism and I truly want the government to push for a fund to help those who are adults with autism because they need more support than ever because after they graduate from universities, they don't get the support they need. And when they don't get the support they need, they suffer. And it's unfair to them because they're also contributing members to society, even though some might not think so, but they are. We need to push forward a fund for them, and I can't reiterate, reiterate this enough. Um, we need to offer them mental health support and everything they could possibly need um, to transition to adulthood successfully and um, yeah, very well. Recently, um, I read an article about someone um, recovering from PTSD after being bullied as someone on the spectrum. Um, uh, by the way, I'm so sorry if I didn't introduce myself in the very beginning. I am the host of the show and also the co-founder of Autism Rocks, Alex Lin. Um, um, nice to meet anyone that don't know me. Um, I read this article. To go back to my, my topic I'm talking about right now, reading this article was so inspiring. Um, because um, I had PTSD and before um, when I when I um, my uh, a few years ago that was after my grandmother died and I remember how depressed I felt and how lonely and numb I felt about everything and I just talked about feeling negative every day and being upset and um, being scared and not knowing what's gonna happen next. These things are very normal for people on the spectrum. I've always talked about inclusivity because when people really included me, it meant a big deal to me. Someone standing up for me, someone telling me that I'm worth it, someone telling me that I am somebody and I can do it one day. I can make it one day. It's one step toward them being more positive about their own lives. And I'm, in, I'm the survivor of being bullied. And uh, for other people, um, they're still struggling. So I, I, um, I hope we all, we all stick together. And after the virus or during the virus, you will reach out to someone on the spectrum that someone on the spectrum and get to know them because I challenge you to do that. And um, to add on the TikTok challenge that was offensive, um, Charlie D'Amelio, um, TikTok star, 15 year old, um, I am so glad um, she keep using her platform to um, call out the horrendous um, challenge, ignorant challenge, because um, I feel celebrities don't stand up for people on the spectrum enough and um, when they do it's very rare and I'm glad that she's standing up and saying this is not okay, it's completely acceptable and wrong and I'm glad that she is taking action as, as other people should do because if you see something that is wrong, don't just do nothing, do something. 
I think we can all agree from what we learn this virus is we have to carpe diem, you know? Carpe diem it. DM every single day. Treat it like it's your last. You never know what's gonna happen. Leave no regrets by making sure you are standing for the right things and leave leave for a better future. Leave um let me say leave a legacy. Let your legacy be remembered as someone who is doing good and helping other people. For who are minorities in particular. I'm glad um, that you have followed this account and I'm so thankful and I hope everyone's okay in the rest of the world and I hope you guys will get over the you guys will get over the virus quickly and hopefully it'll be a vaccine soon because I'm also kind of like uh, angry that it's continuing to happen um, like anyone else and I uh, hope that you keep staying home even though it's very, very annoying. And continue studying with your online school. I'm doing online school right now and it is so exhausting. Um, I am so uh, thankful that you guys listened in to this, um, to our show today, to our episode. Um, to make you guys happier, I, I would recommend you guys to watch um, Ben Platt's Radio City Hall um, Netflix special. Um, I put a smile on my I put a smile on my face. Um, very inspiring, very good. I love it. Um, I watched a few episodes of Atypical. I think uh, I totally recommend it. The Good Doctor also very good. Um, yeah, and I just wish you guys all good luck. And um, tomorrow, and like I think it is, yeah. I don't know when this episode will be airing, but it might be after um, the 22nd of May when Logan Shepard will take over our account, our five time, our four time performer, an autism advocate who has really um, changed to become a very confident young man that I am proud to call my friend. Um, an ally. Um, I'm so inspired by his story. I am so inspired that he's happy and he has friends and he's being included. He's the he's evidence that um, autism rocks um, can work. And that if you give someone an opportunity with autism, they will thrive and they will really, really be a good friend. So don't underestimate that. Um, thank you for listening to my uh, episode today. And I'll see you next time.